These problems are also about missing numbers. We did this with addition last time, but now it's with subtraction, which adds just a little bit more complication. The first one says j minus 2 equals 19. Now if we want to just visualize this, we start with j, a whole big thing that's j. If we take away 2, so some little sliver of that is 2, what's left is 19. So if you think about that, j is made up of 19 and 2. So 19 plus 2 is what j equals, and that would be 21. Another way to do this is with algebra, and I want to show you how to do that, even though it might be a little bit ahead of where you're at in math. In algebra, to solve for the letter, to get that variable alone, we always try to undo whatever else is going on on that side of the equal sign. What I see here is a minus 2. I want to do the opposite of minus 2. Well, the opposite of minus is plus, so I'm going to add 2 to that side. But the rules of algebra say I have to do it to both sides of the equal sign. So I add 2 over here as well. Now on this left side, a minus 2 and plus 2 come out to 0 if you add those together. So I just get j left over there. Uh, over there. On this side, I have 19 plus 2, and that's 21. Well, that's exactly what we got by visualizing the problem. Let's try another one. This one says n minus 14 equals 19. So you're starting with some big pi that we'll call n, and it's got a sliver, well, actually a really big sliver, <laughs> much bigger than I'm showing here, that's, that's 14. And if you were to take away that 14, it would leave 19 because n minus 14 equals 19. So the whole pi, the whole n, is 19 and 14. So 19 plus 14 equals n, and that equals 33. Let's try this the algebra way. We want to get the n alone, the letter alone, and we have to undo this minus 14. The opposite of minus 14 is plus 14 but we have to do it on both sides of the equal sign, so I have plus 14 over here as well. Now, minus 14 plus 14, 0. So all I'm left with is n on that side of the equal sign. On this side, I get 19 plus 14, which is 33. All right, this next one is even trickier. This one says 278 minus u equals 131. So let's think about this carefully. We're starting the whole pi is 278. That's the whole thing. Some sliver we're taking away is u. Okay, we're just minusing u, so we're going to take that sliver away. And what's left is 131. So what you want to do with this one is realize that if u and 131 add up to 278, you can find u by saying 278, let's take away the 131 part. If we take away 131, we'll just have u left. So we write this as 278 minus 131. And that equals 147. If we want to do this with algebra, it gets a little more complicated. And I'll show you how to do it, although this might be something that you, you really don't want to do. What we have over here, it says 278, and that's a number that we want to get away from the, the letter side, the variable side. It's a positive 278. There's no sign here. There's no positive or negative sign, but when there's no sign, it's positive. To undo a positive 278, a plus 278, we're actually going to subtract 278 from both sides. Uh, over here, a 278 minus 278 is 0. What you get is a negative u. You have to leave that minus sign there. And over here, 131 minus 278, you can try that in your calculator, it comes out to negative 147. And now here's where it's kind of weird looking, kind of tricky. We have negative u equals negative 147. Well, that's the same thing as positive u equaling positive 147. Hopefully that makes sense. If a negative u is a negative 147, a positive u is a positive 147. And that would be exactly what we came up with over here. Let's try one more of those. So in this one, we have 211 minus q equals 122. So the whole big pi is 211. 
if you have some sliver of it that's called Q, if we take that away, what's left is 122. So to find Q, all we have to do is take away the 122 part, this part, from the 211. So 211 minus 122. And that, I think, is 89. And let's try this the algebra way. We've got a positive 211 here, so we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to subtract 211, but we have to do it from both sides. And we get, this comes out to 0, 211 minus 211. Then we have to leave that minus sign there, so we have a negative Q equals, and 122 minus 211 is going to be a negative 89. And if a negative Q equals negative 89, then a positive Q equals a positive 89. So those are some tricky problems uh, with missing numbers and subtraction.